Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dat Dak, and today we are starting a new playthrough. We're playing the original Subnautica because I wanted to build a base, and I couldn't really do that in Subnautica Below Zero. I did get a nice bit of feedback from Mark, who am I? I believe the name was, uh, telling me all the things that I'd missed and that there was actually a, a fair amount more stuff for me to do. We will go back to Below Zero at some point, <clears throat> just not at the moment. Like I say, I want to build a proper underwater base, so that's what we're going to do in Subnautica. We will also have a look through the um, story, which I have done before. I guess, really. Oh, that's the test I did before Below Zero, so I could get back up to speed with things. We are going to start a new game, and we will be doing survival. Hopefully I'm not going to die of um, malnutrition or dehydration early on, like I did in Below Zero. It is a little bit easier in this one. I do know where things are a little bit more, so um, there is that as well. I don't know where everything is off the top of my head, but uh, yeah. Like I say, we're going to look to build a dead cool looking base, become self-sufficient and all that sort of stuff, and I'm going to shut up now because there's a bit of a cutscene. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. Well, that's not what you want. A panel right to the face, is it? <clears throat> or for your ship to be on fire. <clears throat> and yes, as you can see, I did try to mute myself. It brings up some sort of console thing. If you know how to get rid of them, please let me know. Because I don't really want them popping up. Put the fire out. Quickly. There we go. We're safe. So, everything's on fire. Always good. But it's not on fire anymore. Everything's broken. Hmm. Cool, Mum. Load you quicker. Minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. So, we can't do anything yet, because I've got to go out and get stuff. So, we want to make, not deployables, tools. We'd like the repair tool straight away. So we need silicon rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. And rubber is grapevine clusters. Right, <clears throat> we can do this. Let's go out through the bottom. Yay, fishies. And we're back into the ocean. Just what we want. I also need to make a scanner rather rapidly. And I did notice in the other game, no metal salvage. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. We can actually get metal salvage in this one. Let's go and get some cave sulfur. What are you? Oh, a creature egg already. We only need the one. I'm going to get out before any of them try and blow me up. And we need some vine doodars. Um, there we go. Oh. Yeah, let's build all our equipment today, shall we? Because lack of oxygen is going to annoy me quite early on. We're not going to die. That's my plan. We're going to try my best. Well, we're going to try my best. I'm going to try my best not to die of lack of food and oxygen and stuff like that. There should be no reason to. Right. Right. Let's grab some of these. I don't mind filling up the inventory with them to start with. We are going to be looking to build a base as soon as possible. <clears throat> I know there's some things to scan down there. We'll get to it in a moment. First things first. Yeah, I can't wait for what happens over there. It's going to look dead cool. Alright, let's go and build some stuff. Well, not some stuff. We've got enough for one thing at the moment. Maybe I should just try and grab a load more stuff, but no. 
we'll do one thing at a time and um, yeah slowly work our way towards building the base that I want so fabricator personal uh, nope let's build some rubber first we're not gonna le need lubricant for a little while so we're not even gonna bother with it change all of these obviously these use up loads more inventory space than rubber so um, I would prefer to turn it all into rubber Come on. Wow, I picked up a fair few more than I really needed to. And we'll turn that into titanium. And then we should be able to build our repair tool. Good. Oh, hopefully I can build a knife as well. Yes. Beautiful. Fins. Cool. Need more titanium for that. Don't need that on us for now. We don't need all this rubber. Don't need the fire extinguisher. Right, and I want you on one. Uh, we'll put you on four for now. I want to go and get more titanium so I can build an oxygen tank. Well, and scanners and stuff like that. I can't wait till I get the compass. It really uh, upsets me not having a compass. I like to know which directions I'm going in. <clears throat> because then I start to learn where things are. Please don't chew on me. Beacon fragment, we're going to need that as well. I was hoping there'd be some actual scrap over here. It looks like it's all just normal stuff. We do need the scanner. Oh, no, no, we're not dying episode one again. This is why we need the oxygen tank. Come on, where's all the scrap? <clears throat> Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Seriously? Where's all the scrap? I'd rather grab scrap than actual um, titanium nodes. Just cause it's bulkier, we get more. It's generally around where these dudes are. Because they um, go and grab all the salvage stuff. There we go. There's two lots of scrap. Three lots of scrap, actually. Good. Right, let's get to the surface, get back to base, and then we can build some more things. If we can get all my equipment sorted today, I'd be quite happy. Because then we can actually start doing stuff rather than keep swimming to the surface. Which we don't want to keep doing that. We'd like to stay underwater as much as possible. <clears throat> I did like the oxygen things in the Lowe's area. They um, allowed us to stay submerged for quite some time. Hopefully we can build a scanner as well. I didn't check what we need. I'm fairly sure we've not got the stuff we need to build that as well but we'll have a look we're going to need some of these mushrooms as well and coral samples and all that stuff and keep away from me you poisonous beasties we're going to need food soon as well there is some in this um, little storage nook thing we've got in here <clears throat> so let's turn all this into titanium and then we should be able to build some things Nope, we don't want to build the ingots. Standard oxygen tank. Beautiful. <clears throat> right. Oh yeah, it's already equipped, obviously. We need glass and silver. I could try and find that straight away, but it seems a little bit excessive. For a battery, we are going to need mushrooms and copper ore. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. get some mushrooms and then we'll go and find some copper ore which I'm hoping shouldn't be too difficult break limestone thank you yes we want these because we want glass titanium can you get lost please uh, dude you're dead angry and you're all up in my grill and I don't need it 
what else did we need for the um, better storage tank? It was glass silver. Should we see if we can find one piece of silver? It would be nice. I was going to say, please say I can get back to the surface from here. My oxygen's getting a little bit on the low side. Oh no, explode his swim. He's probably going to get me. Nope. <clears throat> right, let's see if we can find one piece of silver. We kind of need to be looking for the edges of a cliff. Hmm. I'm sure, actually, in the middle of these, there's sometimes silver. Although I don't want to go too far this way, because we'll get radiation, and we don't want radiation. As well as other things. Yeah, I'd be impressed if we could find one silver, then. It would be nice, just to get the bigger oxygen tank early on. Again, I have got to learn where all the things are again. Eat something. Mm, not yet. Yeah, we'll take some metal salvage. Um, silver, silver, silver. Would there be some around the bases of these? I can see possible gold on there, which we are going to grab. <clears throat> but we've got to go back up for a minute. Oh, look, our first Leviathan. Not one that's going to try and eat us like, but <clears throat> they still look cool. I have got to keep looking across at my other screen as well, because the last episode of Below Zero, Zero, um, it looked a little bit laggy, and I don't know for why. Yes. It's not gold and silver, is it? You can get possible gold, silver... Can you get lead out of these ones as well? Yes, yes you can. <clears throat> Let's have a little bit more of a swim round. So we can at least get a bigger oxygen tank, which is good. Saves me having to keep coming back up. There's some gold as well. Oh! I thought that was one of them leviathans swimming face first into me. Not that it really would have mattered, like I say, they're not aggressive, but... Yeah, we're coming back up in a second. I'm just trying to grab more resources. <clears throat> we'll get this one, then we'll go back up and we'll go towards the base. And work on food and water as well. That sounds angry. Is it one of the stalker things? I'm not looking behind me. We need to get back up for oxygen. Ooh, cutting that one a little bit fine. It's fine. We're good. So, other things that we'd like to find early on is the sea glide and the sea moth. It's not called a sea truck in this one. That's why I kept calling it a sea moth in the other one to start with. So, that's what I'm used to. The sea moth is bigger than the truck, is it not? But it looked like the truck could get expandable sections. Not that I ever got round to that, but I could have done. What's the inventory space like? We're coming away from the radiation. Let's try and grab some fish as well. Bladder fish, we will need some water. Come on. Oh yeah, you can't grab them ones. No! Don't eat it. God damn it. I have no idea where I am. Let's get out of there. That's... I'm sure she gives you a little bit of a talk at some point. I might have already spoke over it. About not getting lost in caves. Yeah, it is terrifying if you are in a cave and you're running out of oxygen. And you've completely lost where you meant to be. So, <coughs> excuse me. We need to get some filtered water going. I can check how you can make bleach as well, because I said something about that in Below Zero, I couldn't remember how to do it, but it doesn't seem like you could make bleach in that one anyway. And again, food does go off. Their bladder, no thanks. 
Um, we wanted a battery. I want to turn all these quartz into glass. Oh, we can make power cells now as well. Not that I'm going to, but we can. Just switch all this out. We'll get around to eating in a minute. It's fine. I've got it on me. In fact, I'd rather eat it now rather than it going off. Really? I thought we cooked more than that. Fair enough. That's fine. Um, let's keep going. What else can we make? Titanium. We are eating through the power of this place. It'll be fine. Don't need that. What else did we need? A standard oxygen tank. Easy enough. Beautiful. Right, what do we want to make next? Um, we've got the fins. Don't need to make first aid kits because we can just grab them from there. Uh, tools. We can make a flashlight. We need a scanner. I'm not that bothered about making a flashlight. Habitat Builder. That's what we're going to need as well. <clears throat> I'm going to need copper wire and the coral, which we can go out and get. Which I believe you get from these. Oh, just look at that oxygen tank. That is beautiful. Oh, it's the wrong sort of coral. We need the ones that form on the edge of cliffs. Where are you? There's normally loads around this first section. Um, you know what, though? We can start scanning things as well. See, excuse me. He didn't actually manage to take a bite out of me there, but still. Get lost. Um... Any coral? Coral anywhere. There's normally loads around this starting bit. We don't want to cut that with a knife just yet, because that's not what I'm after. The creature egg. Well, they're actually everywhere. That's ridiculous. Fishies everywhere. It's lovely. I'm not going to scan the salvage. Oh, yes. This is what we wanted to find. Nope, you're not anything. Grav trap fragment, why not? One of two. Anything in the boxes? Beacon fragments, and there's one just to my left. Is that another sea glide fragment in there? It is. There's the beacon discovered. There's the sea glide discovered. <clears throat> anything else while we're down here? Not yet? No? that that looks like something of actual use scanner room fragment already hmm oh beautiful I know the sea moth parts were around the um, the red grass so we're gonna have to go that way as well like I say there is a nice bit of storage and we've literally not got the things that I came out for, which I'm fairly sure are right there. Yeah, it's these. So let's grab some of these. Get a few while we're here. I always like the base because I like to hoard things. I'm quite bad for it. And that seemed like a bigger roar than one of those dudes. Um... I like to hoard things so we can just build as much as we want. I may, between episodes, if I know there's not going to be any story, go out and grab things. Oh, we can make that as well. Not that we want to make that just yet. Computer chip first. Advanced wiring kits unlocked. And you need a normal wiring kit as well. And for a normal wiring kit, we need one more silver. God damn it. can't remember which direction we went off for the first lots of silver. Leave me alone. I'm not hurting you. Only because I can't. Well, I can. I've got the knife, but I'd rather not try and fight them. See, they carry the uh, salvage around and just dump it everywhere. And then I go and steal it. And then they try to kill me. 
the cycle of life. Right, silver. Keep your eye out for the things that look like gold in below zero. These ones. Nope, that's limestone. Haha. -ha. Fooled me. I'm fairly sure there's silver in this area, though. I may be wrong. It has been a while since I've played this properly. Beautiful. Again, I could scan all the fissures and everything, but I don't really want to. I'm not taking salt either. Mainly because when I get the... Um, <clears throat> what's it called? The aquarium up and running. Will be good. I should really be looking on mountain sides. I say mountain sides. They're not really mountains, are they? Cliff faces, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm going to go up and get some oxygen right now. And then we'll come back down. Oh, that looks like something I want to scamp. Yeah, we're not swimming towards that, which is good. Probably shouldn't have spun around then. Lost where I was looking at. Anyway, what are you? Bioreactor. Beautiful. Oh, and we can build that straight away, can we? That's always good. Laser cutter fragment. Yes. Actually doing quite well at the minute. Um, let's go this way, because isn't this where I found the original silver? And now we've got a scanner. Ooh, there's a crashed pod there. Yeah, we're not going down there yet. I do want to end up building a base further down, but um, like I say, not yet. We don't want gold, we want silver. That and I'm going to have to go up for oxygen again soon-ish. Oh, there we go. More things to scan over here. I know there's a load of things to scan around this. We don't want lead. Not yet, anyway. What are you? Beautiful. Oh, don't pass 100 metres. That's bad. No. Metal salvage. Sea moth fragment. We're going to have to go back up. Really? Just like that? <clears throat> oh no, it's one of three. So all the things I've picked up, assuming that I've got, I was missing the one of three above the top. Is fine. What are we on? Yeah, we've got time yet. Let's just keep going around scanning things. I know, I know. And go back down. Let's try and get the sea moth. Is that another piece there? Or is that just salvage? I can't tell from this distance. It looks more like something that should be scanned, but as I'm getting closer, it seems more like salvage. Sea moth fragment. Beautiful. Two of three. Silver, please. Yes. Let's just circle around this, because I know there are things to scan. Yep, it sounds like there are terrifying things there, but it's just the um, friendly Leviathan at the minute. Anything in this? Laser cutter fragment. Where was it? Because we're below 100 metres, so my oxygen's going to drop even quicker. We don't want to stay below 100 metres for a long time. Is this another bioreactor part? Yep. Don't eat me. Get away. So we have actually got the bioreactor now. Sea moth fragment. This should be the last one we need. Don't eat me. Wonderful. I was going to say, I'm sure that's something. It was telling me to scan something there. Scanner room fragment. Excuse me. Get up for oxygen quick. This will be close. Mm, no, it won't. I'd love to get the scanner room up and going. But we're going to generally need the... Um, well, it's the general room, isn't it? <clears throat> I know where that is. We've got to go to an island, I believe, to get that. Can't even remember which direction it's in. Anyway, more things to grab. We've got the silver that I came out for to get the wiring kits, but we might as well try and grab more stuff while we're here, hadn't we? Please be another. Well, that is going to be something to scan. 
you can tell. It looks different. Scanner room fragment. That should be that complete as well, then. Well, it seems like our first room is going to be the scanner room, then. Can you get lost? Go away. Nothing else this side. Let's get back above 100 meters. Uh, there's just sh salvage. There's just salvage around here. What is that? Sea moth fragment, I believe. Bioreact fragment, fair enough. That just gives me titanium now. Let's go across to this crashed pod. There is um, story things that tell us about this, but we might as well go and have a look, being as I've already found it. Is that another sea moth fragment? Yes, it is. Might as well take the titanium and grab that. Integrating new PDA data. Nothing else is of use in here? No? I mean, there is law that comes with that, but I'm not all that fussed about the law. Let's just grab this and then we'll go back towards base. More silver. Lush. Lead. I am. I said lead wasn't all that useful when I grabbed it earlier. That's mainly because I was looking for silver. But it is all that useful because I do want to build a, um, a nice foundation this time rather than the one that I tried to do before. As it was pointed out, reinforcing the parts is much more efficient than actually um, just building foundations everywhere. But, you know, we want a proper base to... Uh, well, a base for our base to stand on. Just because it'll look slightly better. So I don't think we want to go diving down there yet. It seems awfully deep. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's grab some fishies on the way back as well because I'm getting marginally hungry. Oh, inventory's full. Never mind them. Let's get back to base and then we can sort some foods and waters out. Actually, we might as well drink that water right there. Don't need any salvage as of yet. We really did get quite far away, didn't we? It's fine. it not take but a minute to get back. And then we can start crafting more things. And we're probably going to call that it for uh, today's episode. We're about at time, and I've got most of the equipment ready that I wanted. I would like to get the respirator as well, but... First things first, deployables, beacons, and waterproof locker. We also want to make a sea glide. We'll do that next episode. Motor vehicle bay for the sea moth. Definitely. Fiber mesh. That's why it was telling me to cut the vines. I didn't even realize we'd found a propulsion cannon part yet. Anyway, um, yep, Let's turn this into titanium. And just a normal wiring kit was what we needed. And nope, it's tools. We need a battery as well. I need two more mushrooms. Easy peasy. We live right above them. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Inventory full again. I know, I know. And battery... Then we've got the Habitat Builder. Beautiful. The Builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. So, let's store all of this. Um, we can take this water out. Might as well take this food out. We'll use that instead. Just store things that I don't really want on me at the minute. Silver and gold, definitely. Because if I die, consume that, consume that. Might as well consume that because we've got another one ready there. Yeah, that seems like a decent place to end it off. Let's have a quick look at our blueprints to see what we've got unlocked. <clears throat> and what we need to unlock a little bit more. Rebreather. So, fibre mesh... It's the vine things, isn't it? Laser cutter, we need to find one more of. Mobile vehicle bay, we need to find one more of. We can already make the sea moth, but we need the mobile vehicle bay. Scanner room, doodars, yep. Two lead, two titanium. So we can build two foundations so far. 
Um, we can build the bioreactor, which is good, because I don't really want to use solar power. Alien containment is where you put the eggs. I will be making these lockers this time instead of the wall lockers, just because there's more, a lot more room in them than these. Obviously, we're going to need an aquarium, signs as well. Don't really need those, but yeah. Yeah, we've not had a bad first episode. And I've not died, which is more important. I can very nearly make that now, actually. I think that will be the first room that we go into for the base, and then we'll go into general rooms. Like, say, we've got to go to an island to find the original ones. Degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. And also, let's finish off by doing this. We're fine for now. <clears throat> so, next episode, I'd like to make the rebreather. Um, I'd like to make the sea glide so we can get around a little bit quicker. And then we're going to start looking into building a base. I want to find somewhere fun. Really? That only takes a normal wiring kit and lubricant? That's okay. Compost, organic. Compost, even. Organic matter into electrical energy. So we're going to want some planters as well. Not that we can make them yet, but we will be able to make them shortly. Either way... Oh, we never repaired this. Well, we might as well get it repaired, haven't we? Right at the end of the episode. Cool. So, that is going to be it for episode one. Like I say, feel free to leave me feedback and let me know generally where things are. I've got a rough idea about where things are in this one, just like I say, because I've played it before. But we are hoping to build a dead cool looking base. We're obviously going to go and explore the Aurora at some point. Not too soon. We need the propulsion cannon to be able to get in there properly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Building a base is what I wanted to do in Below Zero. Unfortunately, we couldn't build the base that I wanted, so that's why we're on this one. Like I say, let me know what you think. Either way, that is going to be it for this episode, so thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more of them. that. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!